Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to update your Nexus 4 to Android 4.4 KitKat. The over-the-air update zip is finally here so you can manually install it. This is the official update. This is the exact same as if you got the update over the air. It will not wipe any data so you do not need to worry about that. Also, you do need to be on the stock ROM, so if you have flashed a ROM, a custom ROM, anything like that, made any modifications to the stock ROM, this will not work. You do not need to be rooted. You do not need to have your bootloader unlocked. You can be completely stock, which is, I believe what my phone is, my bootloader might be unlocked. But anyways, you could be completely stock and this will work. Um, as I said, no data will be wiped either. Now, first of all, um, you want to go ahead and double check that you are on the right build. Uh, again, being stock, you need to be on 4.3 JWR66Y is the correct build number right there. So you do need to be on 4.3 JWR66Y. There uh, are two downloads I'll get to in just a second. Before you download any files, you want to you need to actually set up the SDK tools and ADB on your PC first. I'll link to an easy tutorial video in the description if you have not done so. You do need to do that. So go ahead and set those up now, watch that video, set it up in your computer. Once you've done that, or if you've already had those set up, you need to go ahead and download an update zip file. In this case, there's two that you can download. The first one being a 4.3 to 4.4 update zip, and then the next one being a 4.4 to 4.4 update. It's just a maintenance update that you can do afterwards. So I just recommend downloading the 4.3 to 4.4 update to start. And once you've done that, then you can go ahead and do the next one. So um, as I said, you need to have the SDK tools on your computer. Once you have that set up, download that file, and then we can go ahead and go to our computer now. All right, and once you have that file downloaded, it should say a bunch of letters and numbers and then KRT16S from JWR66Y. So make sure it does say that. That would be the 4.3 to 4.4 update zip. What you need to do is go ahead and right click on it and just hit cut. So just cut it out of your downloads folder or wherever it was downloaded to. And then what you need to do is go ahead and navigate to that Android SDK folder that we have created through that tutorial video that I mentioned earlier. Go ahead and navigate to that. Go to your platform tools folder and paste that file into there. So just go ahead and right click and hit paste like so. Now once that file is pasted into there, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and click on it like you're going to rename it and just copy that text. Just copy the entire thing. You could rename it if you'd like to. I just prefer not to. I just copied the entire text. So you can just copy that entire text and once you're done with that, hold shift on your keyboard and right click outside of all the files and hit open command window here. So that should show up. It'll look just like that. Click on open command window here. Once you do that, you'll see a command prompt does indeed open up. Uh, of course, mine's pointed to Android SDK platform tools, which is why we had to do hold shift and right click and say open command window here. But anyways, once we have this set up, we can go ahead and go back to our phone. All right, and once we have that command prompt ready, we need to go ahead and shut off our phone. So just go ahead and power it down. Once fully powered off, press and hold volume down and the power button at the same time. Press and hold both of them until the bootloader screen pops up, then you can let go. And once this bootloader screen pops up, what you need to do is press the volume keys to navigate. Just press down twice until it says recovery mode, then press the power button to select it. What it's going to do is reboot you into recovery mode. You might not see this padlock, my bootloader is unlocked, yours does not need to be. Here is, of course, always the tricky part when you get to the Android guy with the exclamation point. Uh, my recommendation is to press and hold the power button for a little bit and then press the volume up button. That's what works for me. Hopefully that worked for you to get to this menu. Otherwise, just go ahead and simultaneously press volume up and down and power button. You might get lucky. It's tricky sometimes if your phone reboots, just go through this process again. Again, I press and held the power button for a little bit and then press the volume up button to get into this menu. Anyways, this menu would be recovery mode. So we are in Android system recovery. All you have to do is go ahead and use the volume keys to navigate and the power button to select. Go ahead and press volume down once until it says apply update from ADB and press the power button. Once you've done that, down at the bottom, it says now send the package you want to apply to device. Once you're on this screen, we can just go ahead and plug our device into our computer. So grab your micro USB cable and plug it on in. All right, and once our device is plugged in, we can just go ahead and go back to that command prompt and type in a simple command. All you have to do is type ADB space side load space. Um, what you need to do is go ahead and just right click up at the top highlight edit and hit paste. It's going to paste in that file name that we copied, that entire thing that we copied. And at the end, what you're going to need to do is add .zip. Unless there's already a .zip there, do not add two .zip. So you don't want it to say .zip, .zip. Just add the .zip at the end 
And that should be it. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and press enter. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna go ahead and send that file over to our storage on our device. So you should see a percentage. So you'll see sending sideload. So what it's doing is sending the file onto our device. It'll take a bit of time. So once that hits 100%, we can go uh, back down to our phone. All right, so you'll see it says 100%. That's, we're done with the computer portion now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my phone. All right, so on my phone, you actually don't need this plugged in anymore. I'm gonna leave it plugged in just for the sake of things. Um, I recommend it, especially just because you have a little charge going on, but you'll see it is letting you know what's going on. It uh, found the update package, it opened it, it's installing it, it's patching the system files. It's basically now going to automatically update you to Android 4.4 KitKat. So I'm gonna let it do its thing. It's gonna take a bit of time. The file size was fairly large. So uh, just be patient with this process and I'll be back once it is done. All right, so you'll see it says install from ADB complete. We are now done. Uh, it brings us to this menu. All you have to do is press the power button while, re while reboot system now is highlighted and go ahead and press it. And that should be just about it. Um, to let us know we are on KitKat, you'll see that there is a new boot animation and I'll show you a couple things once the phone boots up. So let's go ahead and check out that boot animation. There you go, so you'll see. Brand new KitKat boot animation going on, very nice. Very simplistic. So I'm gonna let this boot up and I'll be right back. Just a heads up, it does run through the system recovery menu for some reason. It's probably finishing up the installation process. All right, so my phone just booted up. You'll see no data was wiped. I do have the same wallpaper, all that good stuff. You'll see I do have the new lock screen where I can go ahead and swipe up from the bottom. Google Now pops up. You'll see this little icon helps you swipe over and you do have uh, the camera there but anyways let's go ahead and unlock it again up at the top you'll notice a some new icons here so we can go ahead and check those guys out zoom in here and we can look you'll see very plain black and white right here some people like them some people don't um, just whatever it's just a personal preference if you do or not you'll see the over scroll glow is also white down at the top and bottom so but anyways let's go ahead and show you guys we are now on KitKat so go to about phone you'll see we are on Android version 4.4 which is a uh, different build number so we can quickly tap on Android 4.4 you got the K the Easter egg you can press and hold and it brings up the Android 4.4 screen. You can quickly hold on that, sorry about that. We can quickly uh, press and hold on that screen and it brings you to that newer uh, Easter egg. So you'll see, it shows all the builds, donut, Kit Kat, jelly bean, honeycomb, all those builds, ice cream sandwich. Just a little uh, thing I like to see. It also shows immersive mode where it'll go ahead and bring down the navigation buttons and go into entire full screen mode. So it'll go ahead and bring the, the back home and recent running apps away. So just wanted to show that off real quick. I do have a full review of KitKat, so you can check those out. I'll link to it in the description so you can check out your new features on your phone. Also, you'll notice it does not include the Google Experience Launcher from KitKat, uh, from, Nexus, from the Nexus 5, excuse me. But I will, sh I do have a video showing you how you can get that. I'll link to it in the description of the video of this video. So I highly recommend trying it out, especially because it'll give you a more KitKat experience. Again, check out that full review so you know some new features on your device. But I also wanted to make a note that this is not the latest version of KitKat. There is another update zip that you can manually install if you'd like to update to that, again, that's linked to in the description of the downloads. That's what that second one, that 4.42, 4.4 zip is. It's that uh, maintenance update build, uh, changes your build number as well. I believe it just, it's an O at the end. I, I'm not positive, but anyways, it's just the 4.4 to 4.4 maintenance update. You can go ahead and manually install that the same way as you did this one, just with a different file. But there you have it. You are now on Android 4.4 KitKat on your Nexus 4. Hopefully this video has helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to me as well. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching.